Hey, what is up guys? <coughs> Alright, so we are gonna do something pretty basic today. I'm gonna teach you how to build a robot. I mean, how to program a robot focus which focuses on doing obstacle avoidance. Alright, so you want your robot to be able to avoid obstacles and that includes walls uh, or any bigger objects. So we're gonna use the robot educator right here as our guide so you can use the building instructions on building the robot educator. Driving base, yeah. Alright, you can click open right here. Hopefully you guys have the uh, Mindstorm education software. I don't think this is available in the home edition of the software. So yeah, just build the the robot educator model and then you can program it accordingly. I will guide you on how to program correctly. So we have two ports left for port B and right for C. Alright, so let's close that for now. You will need the ultrasonic sensor module as well. So be sure to build this and attach it to your robot. So there's only about 9 slides or 9 steps. And make sure your ultrasonic sensor is connected to port 4. Alright, so we are using that. Port 4, let's standardize it. Alright, so let's get started. So we are doing obstacle avoidance 1. So I'm going to teach you guys two different methods and you will need to use switch and loop. If you haven't already, check out my previous video on how to use them correctly and how to uh, what are they for and the basic functions of loops and switches. So you can check out my video uh, on the top right corner of the screen or you can check it out in the description below. I'll be sure to include it at the end of the video as well. Alright, so let's close the content editor for now. So generally, to detect an obstacle in front of you, you would want to use an ultrasonic sensor. But assuming that your robot is moving forward, so let's go for on B and C. So generally, your robot would need to move forward for uh, on until it will wait for the next parameter, which is the ultrasonic sensor, which can be found here. Wait. Ultrasonic sensor compare distance. You can use centimeters of or inches. I'm just going to use centimeters to set an easier example. So port 4, let's uh, put around 15 centimeters so generally uh, there's not much difference between less than or less than or equal to but we are going to use less than or equal to because we want to detect 15 as well alright so if you detect uh, if you put less than it will only detect 14 centimeters and below got that alright so if we do something like this B and C, port 4, B and C. Alright, so as always, make sure the ports are correct. If it's wrong, then there's no point in, you know, your program at all. It will not work correctly. So right now, if you were to download this program, what it will do is your robot will move forward until the ultrasonic sensor detects something within 15 centimeters or below, and then it will stop. So you can download this program and try it out yourself and see if the, ultras if the ultrasonic sensor actually works. Damn, I can't speak. Ultrasonic. Alright. So this is a pretty basic 
uh, obstacle avoiding program but to make it to make your robot more sophisticated you gotta add something more than this right so what do we do instead of asking your robot to stop we want your robot to turn in the other direction and in that case we will ask it to turn right you can decide either left or right it's up to you I'm gonna set around 45 and one second so this might or might not turn around 45 uh, around 90 degrees depending on the weight of your robot so if you think that it's not turning enough you can increase either increase the steering here or you can increase the amount of time needed to turn or you can increase the power whichever fits you so yeah find the exact amount of steering that you want and then we're going to ask it to oh no before it turns it needs to do something else it needs to reverse all right so we're going to ask our robot to reverse for one second so set it to minus 50 all right so right now your robot will detect it will move until it detects 15 centimeters or below and then it will reverse for one second and then it will turn right hopefully at a 90 degree angle all right so this is a much more it's a better program it will allow your robot to you know move in the other direction once it actually detects an obstacle instead of it just stopping right there so is this program complete how do we make it even better so we can always add loop to the program to allow our robot to be able to perform this task consistently so drag everything and put inside so with that loop after it turns right it will move forward again until it detects something and it will reverse and turn right and it will keep doing that so it will never hit anything uh, in the condition that the ultrasonic sensor actually senses something in front all right so yeah that's how you do a basic a simple and basic obstacle avoidance program so how do we use a switch instead so I'm going to teach you guys a similar program but we are using switch this time around alright so to use the switch just drag the switch up here detects for check for ultrasonic sensor compare distance centimeters so the same thing we are doing 15 make sure that you guys actually watch my video on switches I'm sure that video will help you out a lot in understanding uh, the benefits of using switches and such all right so we will have two condition either our robot moves forward I'm just copy and pasting because I'm lazy or the robot reverse and turn right so these are the two conditions that the robot needs to meet so there's a true and false so if the robot detects less than 15 centimeter less or equals to 15 centimeter true it would reverse and turn right if it doesn't it should just move forever all right so now this uh, program has a similar function to this you can use either one but there's something wrong with this program can you guys tell me what it is I'll give you five seconds if you can figure it out then you know you are a pretty advanced student so you will need to add a loop if you haven't figured it out already to the switch to be able to for this program to work correctly so that the robot constantly senses the environment for anything 
less than or equals to 15 centimeters. All right, so this is how you should do it. Always put the switch in a loop so that the robot can actually sense the environment in real time. All right, and always checking for something within the ultrasonic sensor's distance. All right, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. So this is how you should, how you can uh, program your robot to detect an obstacle. It's a simple and basic program. You can try it out and have fun with the robot that you have constructed. Make sure that your ultrasonic sensor is mounted uh, somewhere in the middle of the robot. It will help it to detect object easily or easier compared to mounting the ultrasonic sensor on the left or on the right side of the robot. Alright, so I'll see you guys in the next video. So yeah, let me know what you guys think. Feel free to leave any questions or suggestions in the comment section below. Have a nice day. Goodbye.